Hey guys, today I'm gonna be uh, putting together and setting up my new uh, computer setup. So this is the full size tower, computer tower I'm gonna be using. This is a Thermaltake Core V71. Let's open it up. So let's open it up. The toolkit that I'm gonna be using, putting it everything together, is of Amazon. Basically. Just a full screw bit kit with all sorts of sizes and types. Here's the inside, already has a big fan in the rear and two big ones in the front as well, behind the mesh. So the first thing we're gonna install is the power supply because as I read online, uh, if you plug it in and have it turned off you can uh, ground yourself with it by touching it once in a while so you lose that static energy that can damage some products. The power supply I'm gonna be using is the Corsair RM1000 watts gold eighty plus gold that should be enough for everything that I'm installing.
So what you get in the package is the power supply of course, power cord cable and all the cables you need to connect to the motherboard and all other various things you install in your computer case. We're gonna start by installing the power supply and the cord and the power supply is gonna go here so this is probably in the way this bracket so I'm gonna take, take that out it out and then we're gonna slide this so the fan is so supposed to be turned down so it's gonna go like this Then you need to put four screws to hold it in. And these screws came with the power supply in the small package with the plastic straps, which we're gonna use to do cable management later on. Here are the four screws. Take them and install them loosely. There we go. Then we need to put the bracket back and it because it's to support the power supply right there. Put it under the end of the power supply and put the two two screws. Again, to hold it in place. Go back to the rear and tighten up the screws that hold the power supply in place. Now that all four 
are tightened, have the switch on zero, turned off, and then we can take the power supply cord. Connect it here. And then connect the power supply to the electricity. Now that the power supply is in, connect it, turned off though, we can touch it to ground ourselves because it's grounded in the wall. And then we can continue and you just touch the power supply once in a while to lose the static energy. So next up we're gonna install the motherboard which goes here. The motherboard I chose for this build is the Asus Tough Gaming X57 Pro with Wi-Fi. with some brackets also some trim around the back where you install it and some cords for power and such screws for installation a pad if it's touching somewhere certifications and user guides a big fan up here we could maybe add another one later on all right so the motherboard screws in here screw holes here, 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 there, and down there. So I'm gonna remove this bracket just so I can more easily get close to the motherboards. And this is three screws on the back, one, two, and three. So before we uh, fasten the motherboard, we're gonna put this trim right here. Just push it in, push it in like that. And then we can put the motherboard in. Just like that. Now that the motherboard is in and ready, it's time for the next step. Next step is CPU, the processor. I went with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. Here. 
Here we have installation instructions, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU, and a sticker. Noise. Nice. Then you need to line line up the pins. You can see there are different pins and one is different so you put put it there and then you can see Slide this down again. Now the now the CPU is installed. It's time for the next step. The CPU I chose to go with is the Noctua NHD15S Chromex Black. It got really good reviews, so I'm expecting very nice results. This had two boxes in it. The big box has the cooler and the other one has brackets and also the thermal paste we need to put in on here between the CPU and the cooler. This is a massive cooler. The cooler complete comes with complete instructions. So the first thing it asks us to do is to remove the stock fasteners to install the Noctua ones. Remove. So I loosened the stock connections, but uh, I think they fell down. So I'm going to take the back plate off here. It's just two of these screws. And there it is. This should go right here when I screw the new thing in. So as it says, it's two spacers each side, then the brackets here, and then the screws. So the screw bracket in the back, the spacer. Now I can just put the spacers here and new bracket. Not gonna fully tighten them. Just almost. But before we put the thermal pests, I need to take the fan out from the middle because the bolts to fasten the brackets it's underneath the fan it's pretty easy it's just 
bracket here on each side. And then you just pull it out from the middle. And now it's like this clear way to the screws. So the instructions say four points that are like around two millimeter near the corners and then plus one dot in the middle which is three to four millimeter diameter. I take the lid off the thermal paste So after the thermal paste is on, we remove the plastic cover, see if there's any residue, then we tighten these up before we put the cooler on. Not too tight, because you don't want to damage anything. And then it's time to put the cooler on. Gently tighten the screws on each side. Two still are tight. Don't over tighten them. And then it's time to reattach the fan. like this CPU connection is down here it's, if it will focus it's the one here next up I'm gonna install the SSD M2 I bought one terabyte Samsung 980 Pro Small thing. So to install the SSD, you have to put a spacer for this motherboard before you put the screw. So the spacer goes 
under here and then this screws the screw comes here on top otherwise it's on too much angle and like everything else don't over tighten it just like this next up is the memory I have two memory uh, slots that I'm gonna use so this is the rec recommended pattern the light gray the gray ones install these two there unless you have four you can use all or if you have one just use this one but I have two so I'm gonna use the gray ones the DDR4 memory sticks I chose were from G-Skill Trident C Neo and it's 2 times 16 gigabytes which adds up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Open it up on this side. Slide it in and close it. Open it up. Slide it in first here. And then slide it there and close it. Next up is the graphics card. I decided to go with Tuf Gaming GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. And that's gonna slide in, in this slot, which we open up like this. And then I have to take the bracket away so I can screw the graphics card in. Here it has a cover, and this is gonna go here. So we need to we need to take we need to take these two away to fit it. Plugs are covered, and then 
go ahead slide it down and there we go locked into place Put the screws Now that the graphics card is in, then next things up is just to wire all the computer from the power supply and to the motherboard, just connect everything. Now it's time to open up this pack of cables and connect everything I connected the back fan right there which is this fan connection here this one here is the motherboard connects from there to the back of the, from here To the back of the power supply and the USB panel connects to one of the USB connectors here on the motherboard audio right there right here then there's this USB USB 3 guy He goes here, right there. Now I'm going to install the second SSD right here. So I first have to install the spacer right here. Then the card. Now that everything is in the case, it's time to connect the screen. Now it's time to open up the screen that I'm using. So, 
It's a Gigabyte 34 inch ultra wide. shall connect it to the graphics card and to electricity and then see if we can turn it on. So after downloading the BIOS update onto the USB, so we put the USB where it says BIOS, then hold this button for around 3 seconds. If it blinks five times and a solid green, then uh, it did not start and something is wrong with the USB thing. But if it uh, blinks three times and then uh, starts blinking a little bit rapidly and then just keeps going like this, you wait till the green light stops blinking and then it's ready. with uh, Windows install USB of course after the install I turned on the computer with uh, Windows USB installed and then we just install Windows and go through that so I've also decided to put a second fan on the CPU cooler just to make everything more fresh inside. So I'm gonna put the cooler over here and connect it to the motherboard. Connect it to the motherboard fan connection here that says Japan 2 so I got these extra clips came with the CPU cooler apparently to put another fan on I hope so I'm gonna install the fan now Now we are up and running. Blue LEDs in the fans, so I made the LED in the GPU and the RAM blue as well to match. Everything is looking good.